Hi guys, my name is Simran and welcome to the channel Tech and Target. Today I'm going to talk about my interview experience at LNT Infotech. So before starting, I would like to thank the channel, the admin of this channel who has helped me a lot because before watching these videos, before watching the interview experience videos, before watching his all videos, I had no experience, I had no idea what interview was like what kind of questions that are asked in the interview I had no idea so this channel helped me a lot not only by knowing the question but also it helped me to get an idea of how to answer each and every question moving further so talking about my technical round my technical round was for about 15 minutes and the questions that were asked in my technical round were very very basic so I prefer, I recommend you guys to know the basic concepts of whatever you are interviewing for, like what are the, whatever the programming languages and the skills that you have listed in your resume. Just know the basic concepts of each and every one. Uh, you need not know it very deeply, but you should know the basic concepts of each and every one. In fact, I would also recommend you guys to Google the top ten most in the, the top ten most asked questions of C of C plus plus oops and whatever the subject is that helped me a lot and that will definitely help you a lot when you are interviewing for such companies. So moving further, these are the questions that were asked to me. What are classes and objects? What are classes and objects? That is a very basic question of oops and everybody knows it. So you just need to define what classes and objects are and then you're not done by the definition only. You also have to give an example, a suitable example and relate both of them. This is how the interviewer would know that you actually have a knowledge about classes and objects and you have not, you know, crammed it. Okay, so moving further, what is encapsulation? Again, give a definition and not don't just stop there just give um give any example that you, that comes to your mind give any real life example or any example of where you used it in your own code okay so the next question is what is overriding overriding is again a concept of oops and you have to give a definition and again give an example of what overriding actually is giving example depicts that you know the concept very clearly so that is a plus point in an interview so the next thing that he asked me was do i have a knowledge about data structures and i said yes so the next question was what do you know about stacks and queues so i defined what stacks were i defined what queues were so he asked me before i could complete he asked me the difference between stacks and queues so you should know the difference between stacks and queues and uh, define that the difference between stacks and queues is that stacks follow the last and first out principle of insertion and deletion of data the objects while queues follow the first and first out principle moving to the next question the next question was again from data structures what is array so you define what is array so the definition is the, the, the definition of of an array is a very small one line answer so if you want to enhance your answer you should give an example you can also define how an array is represented okay so the next question was how are arrays and linked lists different so that is something that i just read before 10 minutes of the interview and I answered it how arrays and linked lists are different after answering he asked me what uh, what is difficult is it difficult to insert an object in array or is it difficult in a linked list so I was a bit confused there I took my time and I answered so it is okay if you take your time don't just panic and don't if you don't know the answer just say I don't know but don't panic over there, just be confident. So after answering all these questions, he asked me to write a code to add all the even numbers less than 100. 
I started writing the code. He then I wrote the code. I took some time to write the code. Then he asked me to explain how I wrote the code and what is the logic that I use. Just make sure that you describe all the things in your code. Why you used certain function? Why are you using certain loop? And how are you you using that loop? Okay. So after describing the code. He asked me what is inner join, which is a question from SQL. So uh, during the interview, I did not know what SQ, uh, what inner join was. So I said I am really sorry, but I do not know what is an inner join is, and I am currently working on my SQL. So he said okay. He said that the interview is done. He asked me two questions related to. Like, do you have any problem with relocation, and do you have any problem with the bond for two years? So these are the questions that you cannot say yes to. You have to say no. We do not have any problem with relocation and bond. So this was my technical round, and I want to tell you more questions that can be asked in the technical round. That is the first question: Tell me about yourself or introduce yourself. so just make sure that you are prepared with the speech of introducing yourself okay and the next question that is a very popular question that can be asked is about your project so make sure that you know a to z about your project your history and geography about your project they can ask how your project is useful what are the shortcomings of your project and how can you overcome them so just prepare yourself accordingly coming towards the hr round HR round that I faced was not exactly what HR rounds are generally. It was more like a technical round too, which will not happen, which might not happen with all of us, all of you. My HR round was for about twenty-one minutes, and I suggest before going for an HR round, you do the speaking practice very carefully. You know, you can read out newspaper. you can read out anything loud make sure you read that out loud okay that makes you that makes that helps you clear your vocal cords that helps you get clarity over your words okay so moving on questions so the first question for everyone who is not from a cse background an it background the question will be why do you want to switch into it background so here's how i answered this question i said that it is an ever growing sector it has the future of the world and we know that everything is now shifting towards it everything has come over the internet everything is online and information technology has a lot of scope has a lot of things to learn there are very new technologies that a person can be very very interested in and i spoke all these things that i like to know more about such technologies i like to learn these technologies i like to gain more knowledge so this is why i want to make my career in it only so the next question is why lti so i suggest before you go and sit for an interview for any any company you just have to research a lot about the company you should know about what the company does when the company started or what the company's mission is what the company's vision is and where the company serves i suggest you to know the name of the ceo of the company where the headquarters of the company are where where the company has its office where does it work in which countries does it work so make sure you know all about the company so i definitely started to answer this question by speaking some good things about ldi that ldi is an established company it's a very growing company and it is in every sector it has its root in every sector like healthcare like petroleum like in every sector it has boomed and apart from that after answering this the interviewer asked me if uh, i know what type of projects lti has so i answered that the projects i have read about on their website i answered that so 
the next question is very situation based and it could be different for you it could be different for, for everyone it was a situation based question that if we want to create a mobile app for banking what are the main features that should be added to it so it was a trick question or i would say um, i asked her to give me some time to think about it she gave me some time and told me to revert back when i have thought about it i was calm and my my mind was running at the speed of light to have something in my mind like what features should be added because i was ne- not ready for this question what i was preparing was what my strengths and weaknesses were and the other acha questions so i remembered the mobile banking app that i use i listed some features that could be added and she was positive about those features she asked me how will you convince your clients about those features how will you convince your clients to add those features in the bank how will you make them make them believe you so that was again a trick question i thought and thought and i spoke whatever came to my mind at this point there is no perfect answer the perfect answer is what is in your mind you speak your mind you speak you show your creative side to the interviewer so the next question she asked me was what will happen if i have initiated a payment and there is a power cut before success and how does how does this all work so i told her that the money reverts back in within some time and she asked me uh, how does this work so you can give it give the example of the acid properties in dbms where there is atomicity where either a function will end in success or failure it will not be something in between that so i defined it that way and this is where the interviewer was very very impressed by me she said that i had a very nice way of explaining things and i figured that okay my interview was going well so the next question she asked me was what will you do if you were an it minister for a day so that was again a question where i have to think a lot so i thought for a minute or two then i answered that first thing that i want to do is make internet available at the rural areas the the remote areas and the second thing that i can do is that i took an advantage of the situation that was going on recently the farm laws the internet the it technology has reached every sector except the agricultural sector so i want to take the use of it into the agricultural sector if i become a minister for a day an it minister for a day i would make use of it in the favor in the help in the benefit of farmers so here again she was impressed not just by my answer but also that i have knowledge about the current affairs going in the country so the next question was related to technical what is a nested query so i did not know what a nested query was so i said that i am sorry i do not know the answer i am currently working on my sql just like i said in my technical round so the next question that she asked me was what will happen if i use the main function twice in a program again here i was a little confused i answered what came into my mind and she asked me once or twice that if i was sure if i was sure and i was really not sure and that was depict that was being depicted in my way of speaking but well that went well and the next question that she asked me was have you done any certified courses so i described all the courses that i have done i have i told her where and when did i do those courses so the next question is how did you manage to study about it being a student of different background so how i answered this question is i focused the answer about interest i focused it all on interest that i was interested in it so i somehow managed to study it above my curriculum on contrary to my answer the interviewer asked me do you really have interest in it or is it all just for the purpose of job well i answered that i am really interested in it and it would be very very lucky for me if i get this job and get to start my career in it because that's what i want 
So with this, my interview ends and I really hope that my interview experience helps you to prepare for your interview and I wish you all a very good luck for your upcoming interview and for your career. Till then, stay safe and don't forget to like and share the video and also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you guys.